Hi, everybody. We're going to get going. Thank you. Welcome to the November 15th board meeting of the Shrewsbury Housing Authority. It is 4 o'clock on November 14th, and we are at Francis Gardens, and I'd like to formally open the meeting. My first request will be for a motion to have read, reviewed, and accept the minutes of the October 16th meeting. Motion to accept the minutes of the October 16th monthly board meeting. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Next, the board will take a moment to review the bank statements. We don't need a motion, but very healthy, Kelly. That seems high to me. That's great. Any comment? No? No. Okay. All right. Next, we will review the revolving checking account, the bank register account we refer to it as. Um, I'll pause for a moment and take any questions. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, do we have a contractor rate at some of these places that we buy so many supplies from? So like CES? Yeah, or Home Depot that. or any of that? Yeah, Gary. Okay, good. I figured yeah. you had. We have a business account. Yeah. Okay, all right. I figured we did, but it was just the yes. list was so long this month that I wanted to go for <laughs> Thank you. So, Kelly, I have one as well. Sure. 21836, the Leon Landscaping, a fish project, uh, 13 grand. What was that for? That is Elizabeth Street, um, in front of Elizabeth Street, where they had their table and chairs. It was So grass. if you go up and around over to the, the front door, where the, yep. okay. We paved that, well, cemented okay. that. So this way, because we can't grow grass. Okay. So we cement it. Um, and it looks very nice. So if you're walking into the property, that area to the right? Yes. Okay. All right. And with that bill... Is that a, is that a reimbursement because it's a fish? Oh, yes. Okay. So that's federal, um, oh, state reimbursement. State. Okay. But there's two other bills with that. Okay. Well, are, they, are, they, are they all fish or is they combined on this? No. Two and two. Okay. So two fish, two, you know, typical... Regular? Yeah, the other fish project was on Ridgeland Road. Um, we have a a family who's in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So they have a cement patio all back, but there is no ramp ramp type. Okay. So we got that. Oh, that's fantastic. If you're looking at the three properties on Ridgeland, um, left, is it left, center, or right? Right in the middle. Middle, okay, yes. center. Okay, nice. All right. So that's the project that I always compare to if we move forward with Elizabeth. Yep. That's, yep. that's the newest project. Um, all right. Any other questions? Anyone on the register? Nope. Oh, okay. I just want to know what's fish. Okay, so I'll answer that, but the yes, I know. questions are. Um, it's an acronym for a state-funded project. I don't even know what it is. Federal insurance, I don't even know what it stands for, to tell you the truth. So at the end of this meeting, when I'm talking about the capital improvement plan, I will okay. explain Stop. to you, Okay. and it will make sense then. Okay? Yeah. Meaning it's not a normal, we go to Home Depot and buy trash bags or plywood. It's a big reimbursable project that comes from the Fed or the state. <laughs> Much like some of the bigger projects we've done around here. Yeah. Motion to approve the check register in the amount of um, one hundred twenty-eight thousand one hundred twenty dollars and twenty-four cents. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the register for one hundred twenty-eight thousand one twenty twenty-four. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So moved. Okay, those are the notes. You want to look all as we go? I can. Okay. Um, portability out. I'll take a motion there. Motion to accept the portability out register in the amount of $2,377.10. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, sorry. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. I only got one. I only saw it. I'm sorry. Moving <laughs> 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 on. <laughs> thank you. All right, Kelly, unanimous on portability. Uh, <laughs> losing people already. I'm not being a good chairman. All right, um, I will take a motion regarding the landlord section eight payments. So moved in the amount of 17554. Uh, motion's been made. Second. Se all made and seconded for the landlord check register. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There we go. So approved. Uh, payroll? I'll make a motion that we approve the payroll as printed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Kelly, talk to us about the inns. It looks like there's no room at the state inns anyways. Um, we have one vacancy oh, here. Oh, I went right by because I saw all the no vacancies highlighted. Look at that. Okay. Maintenance is in the apartment to make ready. Um, and the applicant has already been screened by channel. So we're just waiting. For the apartment? For the apartment. Anything significant or? Um, no. Typical? Really okay. in good shape. Okay, great. Um, local? No. Okay. I'm always going to ask. Uh, okay. Uh, talk to us about the tower. We have one vacancy. Um, we just got that vacancy the end of October. The guys are not in there yet. Okay. Um, but that will be a local person. Oh, great. Fantastic. One and one. That's not bad. That's good news. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, Kelly. I know. Kelly, I look forward to this page every single month. So I'm down to 175. Um, there was two court terminations, meaning the landlord took the tenants to court and the judge sided with the landlords. I see two of these within a month and I'm like, wow. Wow, that's um, so rare. So who's the voucher? Okay. Really? Really. It's just rare to have the the, the landlord side with the. Um, what, what was the what was the argument over rent? Rent and possession of property. Oh, the landlords won on them out, but they lose their certificate because of that. If the, if they win in court, if the landlord wins in court and gets judgment, yes. they can't take their certificate and go somewhere else. No. So what maybe I'm speculating that if the landlord asked them to leave and they. Amicably separated, they leave with their certificate. But may I'm speculating, maybe because it, it right, but because court. it went to court, perhaps it's no longer um, in their call. I, I don't know that unless they were unless they were behind in rent. Right. That that I could understand losing your voucher over. But right. generally, that doesn't happen. Um, I haven't seen that happen. And generally, the landlord isn't the um, unbelievable. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so could you find out about that? Find out what the rule is on that. Please. I will get you that rule. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I assume by next month you'll be able to have that, that backfilled, the other you know, two vouchers? Yes, I'm yeah. going to do be doing briefings on Friday. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, we always knew this was your jam. Um, okay, Kelly, just talk to me about the, um, okay, so wait, that's new business, the capital improvement plan? Yeah. So let's pause there because there's unfinished business, at least on the agenda. Um, since we are at Francis... There's a couple of unfinished Francis <laughs> items. Um, the first is the the house numbering. I'm looking at Kathy and Richard. Um, we did contact the um, uh, the neighbor, and um, we expressed exactly what the board wanted to do for them, um, provided that they were willing to change their address. Um, they thought about it, and they came back and said that it would be too hard for them. They didn't want to do it. Okay. Um, then they, and in, in the same conversation, uh, they asked whether we could put a larger sign down in front. And I said, well, that's what started this whole thing. We tried. That's how we and got I here. Said, yeah. And I said, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, the sign's a problem, and we're not going to make 99 to 100 residents at Francis Gardens change their addresses. So I'm sorry. The, I guess we there's nothing we can do at we're this stage. So we started with the sign. That was our intention, but the town had other thoughts, if that's I recall correct. properly. Yep. That was the that's issue. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. So, so unfortunately, that's where we're at on that. Okay. So we can assume it's no longer open business and it's closed out. Maybe it gets revisited down the line or something. I think it's closed out for now yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. until um, maybe they change their minds. And, yeah. and I said, you know, we're, we're open if you are. So. Okay. Okay. That's right. well within their prerogative. I get it. So, okay. Yep. Yep. I would have thought that would have been amicable and they would have jumped uh, out. I would have thought it would be a great, I yeah. thought it was a great solution. Yeah, frankly. I did too. But, okay. We even talked about apes being lucky in real estate. But. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I even asked Kathy to, to comment on the conversation about how apes are lucky. And, you know. So is that a thing? Yes, it is a thing. Okay, yep. so that's new data for me yep. at this point <laughs> yep. in my life. Yep. Okay, yep. I'm probably the only one at this table of real estate professionals that didn't know that, but okay. Um, so uh, Francis Gardens remains uh, the address that they are. Okay. 
uh, to give the color, since we are in this room, there was a signage and numerical issue with the house at the end of the street getting deliveries, and we, this entity, explored putting a larger sign for the Francis property at the end, but the town told us essentially said we could address uh, yeah. your address yeah we, they kind of forbade us from doing what we wanted to do as a workaround so we went to the people that engaged us that said we're getting wrong deliveries and we offered as a board this is public record to help facilitate that process with them with the town and the cost and all that and what we're learning is that they didn't want to do that so we go forward the way it's always been and obviously we're not interested in changing your address from yeah i, I can't now. imagine if i sat here and so. told you guys you're all going to change your address that you? might be a little <laughs> difficult exactly exactly yeah. <laughs> so that was our point to begin with we were advocating for you guys from the get-go but um yeah. Yeah. Doesn't but always I, work. But I, if I may, on a side note, when you're putting on your address as 24 Francis Ave, please make sure not to forget the building number because maybe that will be a hit to the to all the delivery drivers when they get down to the, you know, the single family home at the end of the street. If it says unit such and such, that may trigger. Oh, it it must be here. So right. I think that would be very helpful. Yeah. I think that's a great, Good great suggestion. Suggestion. Yeah. Make sure the unit number, the building number, or something like that is on there. Okay. Oh, that's one unfinished business with Francis. The other one, Kelly. The, the street. We well, yeah, that's. Yeah. I have a note. I would wanted to get while okay. we're with Francis. Right. The chairs. Did, we talked about that last oh. week. We're still working on those. Okay. What does that mean? Getting a quote or something? Yeah, we have to get more quotes. Okay. okay. Because the ones you have aren't good, or. I'm in the middle of an audit. Okay. She's All been right. busy. <laughs> okay. She's been busy. busy. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Um, and then the other unfinished business is the a little. We're for Adam and off the Elizabeth Street potential project opportunity, etc. I don't even know how to refer. I'm sorry, to. Uh, this was not in your agenda. This was not in your package. I received it today. It's okay. We have a line item for unfinished business. And, oh, so hold on, Richard. Is that that's mine? Okay, <laughs> thank you. It didn't, it didn't seem like the other ones, right? Um, it's okay. This is generically under the agenda of unfinished. That's the last item, actually. Of unfinished business, so that's fine. Um, so, Mr. Uh, Ricker, would you like to talk us through can, this? As you can see, um, uh, pursuant to the discussions from last month, we um, reached out to John Grenier, uh, professional engineer, uh, for his um, quote on basically leading us through a feasibility study for this property and which would include um, a couple of at least a couple of different machinations on types of buildings and and what we could fit there and what would look good uh, come up with a concept plan for us work with us um, to to come up with a plan that we feel comfortable with and then we can use to go look for more funding so this is his proposal um, I leave it up to you to um, review it. It it's basically does what I just said, which is he'll work with uh, Jarvis's survey. Um, he will review the site and the existing conditions. He'll consider all the building and zoning constraints uh, of the site, even though um, zoning should not necessarily be a big issue for us because we're talking about 40B. Right, correct. Okay. So, a couple of questions. First of all, thank you very much for doing this. This looks fabulous, and it's incredibly reasonable price-wise, I would think. Mm -hmm. So, um, when we talked at last go-round, or I want to say two or three months ago go-round, we had talked about maybe biting off the initial cost and James checking it out, and then going, when we had a longer-term cost of what it would be, going to CPA or something like that. I would like this board to be agreed, or not, or debate, that this first pass would be something we would do ourselves, or is this thinking this CPA money? We, we, I have whatever. a question about that. Okay, um, so let's talk about that. And it's, it's a question for our CPA representative. Um, if we spend money like this, can we seek reimbursement from the CPA? No, because any project has to be approved by town meeting. Prior so, to prior to going prior forward. to funding. Okay, so that's what I thought yeah. I remembered. I thought we do have members of the Shrewsbury Affordable Trust in the building. Uh, <laughs> so, Hi there. So perhaps we could collaborate with them because we've already spent fifteen grand on our first go around, which was the survey. So this would be another seven. So perhaps there are opportunities to partner in different ways so that we're not funding the whole thing. Right, but this seven would get us to some sort of plan or, or study to your point it would get us to that's a, when we would, would get need us the to big a concept plan but right. then when you get into the actual building 
um, project, uh, your concept plan goes to a full engineer plan, right. and then uh, to building plans. Right. So um, that's when you start spending the big bucks. That's why I was thinking that we keep our powder dry. Because I look back at you. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have need. <laughs> yeah. So maybe the right thing to do, because um, we are in a public forum in a public meeting, is once again take this and do, um, uh, you know, public meeting last purpose from talking to, but go offline in a subcommittee or something. Maybe Ms. McSweeney, you work with the Affordable Housing Trust and okay. see if there's something we can do there, and then. Even if it but splitting it or something like that or whatever, that's I'm just throwing out ideas. Then we know what we can go back to Grenier and say yes, we want to move forward. My gut is I want to move forward. I've been pretty transparent about that, but I want to do it reasonably. And, and um, I, I think we've all pretty much expressed the desire to move forward on this, right? I mean, right. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I I think it's just a matter of you know you have to start somewhere. Right. This is where you start. Right. Um, unfortunately, um, everything costs money right. when you're when you're building. So um, this would be step number two. We did right. the survey. This is step number two. Right. He uses the survey for this purpose, and right. he'll use the survey, assuming that um, he bids when the time comes on the the full engineering plan and and that stuff, um, that related work. Um, he'll be using the survey for that as well. So all, none of this gets wasted. Right, right, exactly, right. Okay. This is the so. second hurdle, and it's still, relatively speaking, not to be cavalier, but relatively speaking, not a significant hurdle financially. This is the, the area where we... The third hurdle gets significant. This is significant. the area where we work potentially with our partners right. to determine what kind of project we want, what it'll look like, um, what kind of layout it'll be, what density we're going to be involving uh, uh, that property with, um, and um, that type of information. It, it, it all comes together. Yeah. So, um, can we spend this kind of money? Seven grand. Kelly? Seven. I would ask James. That's what I expect. So, can we... Perhaps do this, if I may. Yes, 100%. You check with James, and then also, I know I don't want to put um, want Affordable to Housing spot. Trust yeah. on the exactly. spot, but this could be a conversation we could perhaps have to discuss whether there's funding on your end, and then figure out a way to pay for this. So, and, and we can tell James that we are hopeful that we know it'll be no more than seven, but maybe we'll get... A fifty percent partnership. I'm just making that number up for for speaking purposes. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, I, yeah. same thing. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Maybe we go into a partnership with another town. But, but so James's um, radar would be anywhere from three to seven grand or something like that yeah. to give him a broad spoke. Just because I don't want him to think it's all or nothing, and and he, maybe that guidance helps him make a decision too. Okay. And the, the, this, if we can do this soon, because we actually want to move quickly, because we, once we have our plans from Grenier then we can actually put a proposal together exactly. in time for town meeting, which is in May, because they're not going to call a special town meeting for us. Um, Correct. <laughs> I don't but, understand. But, so they, did, they did change CPA the way it works this year. It used to be certain deadlines throughout the year, like there's a December deadline in November, then would review, and then the decision would be made on what met the requirements of CPA, and then a recommendation to add it to the ballot, and then town meeting members voted on it. This year we changed it because we realized we want to review projects as they come in and right. approve them so that there's not such a heavy lift all at once. So CPA meets monthly and could review the plan whenever we have it. And then it would go before town meeting in May. So this is timing wise is working out. Perfect. I would think that that would be enough time. Or did he, John, give you a timeline, or he uh, moves pretty quickly? He moves. He, he, I think he moves very quickly. Yeah. Actually, when when yeah. he has his mind set to it, and he 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 was excited about this. He said, "Well, this would be fun. This would be fun." Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> cool. So, All right. So, I mean, he's supposed to be resident too. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, I think this is a um, an interesting. Thing to get into mm -hmm. at this stage do we do we so i was gonna say do we need a motion maybe to authorize miss mcsweeney to engage with affordable housing or something or do they want to say anything now do you want to say anything on the record uh, we're we're happy to, to partner this is part of our strategic plan is to reach out to uh, the town and other uh, um, boards to see where we can partner up we we have um a significant amount of funds that helps move the project along if we're allowed to 
to partner with y'all and, and, and give you those funds and to move this along instead of waiting for town meeting CPAs. Um, you know, it could be a, ni a nice little uh, venture. All right. Excellent. That seems fantastic. Right. Yeah. Okay. Where do you get your funding from? Um, we get it from in lieu of, the in lieu of. In the town. Yeah, when the builders don't want to build an affordable unit, they'll pay the town. Right. The planning board's starting to shut that down, but because it's been so many years, I mean, we're, we're sitting on a, a... A sizable amount of money. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of that, because I represented a bunch of those developers. <laughs> 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 and we just finished with our consultant, um, who was absolutely phenomenal. So uh, we just finished up with her, so she kind of set us loose, and we all have our, we have our short-term goals, we have our medium goals, our long-term and ongoing so um we're finally after a couple of years able to start putting things in action and start spending that money good and if i could do you just want to just to introduce yourself just for the record so when people listen to this at home they'll know who was talking <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm beth shay bryant and i'm currently the vice chair of affordable housing trust and i'm martha gannon thank you martha thank, thank you, beth. you. All right, so maybe a motion. Thank that you both for coming, yeah. and, and um, we look forward to taking your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said quite well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and working with you, yeah. obviously. More importantly, yeah. Um, I, so, I would make a motion that Kelly explore whether or not we can spend this money th through our funds. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, uh, that we have our subcommittee of one of, of one no, well, i feel like you're on that subcommittee too I and you can't make the motion subcommittee of two um, <laughs> um meet with the shrewsbury affordable housing committee to uh, determine whether we can work together to fund this uh, this stage and to discuss future uh, collaboration for these purposes so moved. <laughs> so moved. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Thank you. Oh, what? No. Uh, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. If, so if if um, she gets the go-ahead to spend the money, even while we're discussing with affordable housing, um, I make a motion that if she does get the go-ahead, that we hire Grenier. Second. To move forward. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, yeah. So one way or another, we're, we're yep. moving. moving. The forward. question is, based on what parameters, with what partners, and where the source of funding is. That's right. what I'm hearing. Right. Great. I've, I've done a lot of work with, with him on various yeah. projects around town. He knows the town. I, I think that's a great guy. He's as good as anybody yeah. for this. Great guy. So. Um, okay. All right. So under unfinished business, we went through two items for Francis and one for Elizabeth. Does anyone to my left or right have any additional unfinished business? Um, and I think Kelly and I have the same thing. The doer. Um, no, nope, no. not by that one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go first. Okay. We were having an audit done today. Today. Um, and this was to potentially do the heat pumps that we've been talking about for a number of months. So they went to our sites. Um, they went to Elizabeth Street, um, the family developments. I do not think they came out here. Um, was more the family and Elizabeth yep. Street. Smaller, I think. Smaller units. Okay. So I don't know when I'll hear back from them. Okay. But Gary was with them. Okay. And I think there's another grant deadline in December. December. So we yeah. we will get that's why we had the audit. Okay, today. so that that would if that comes back in time then we could apply for a grant for December. Correct. Okay. All right, good. I I'm happy to work with you on that. Oh thank um, you. Anything that's required. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Anyone else on finished business? Kelly? I do. Um, last board meeting, the check for Joanna Plumbing and Heating Services was held yes. because a lot of leaking toilets yeah. and everything. Unfinished um, business. <laughs> Speaking of toilets. <laughs> <laughs> So we did contact the state. They were out here with a couple of days fixing those toilets. Um, how is everybody Yes, feeling? how are we doing? Very well. Totally fixed. Oh, wonderful. It's amazing <laughs> what a little hold back will do. Does anybody have any complaints? We've been out of the limit. None. Great. 
So it will be our pleasure to sign that check at the end of this meeting. It's amazing what a little holdback will do. Yeah, you want a ceremonial assignment right now? <laughs> Here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Drum roll or yeah. something, you know. <laughs> Thank you. And then I have one more under you have the floor. business. Was um, when we had the legal settlement that the check was signed for one of our family units, James did a budget revision so we can get that money back that we paid out that day. Okay. So I just, so Cheryl from James's office says that she just went into Hathis today and saw that the revision for the legal settlement has not been submitted, I told her, because I just got the paperwork. Um, she, I said once I find out what the vote tonight, then they'll all sign it and we can put into the, our $19,000. Is this the um, is this what has to be moved? Yes. So it's a new budget amount. Yes, it's a revision. New asking for the nineteen. It's on the last page. So is this a whole new budget, like the budgeting process we go through in the spring, or it's a revision to that process? It, this is a revision based on just the nineteen k. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. It's right. I'll make a motion if you want to take a look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our accountants call this a budget revision, although it looks like a restatement of a budget. Yeah, I'm just saying really the, the size of the budget I'm, that we have, I can't believe $19,000 more and so. Well, it's the budget as it pertains to just um, that section of our budget. We paid the money. We're asking for the money back from the state. Understood. Understood. I'm just surprised. I, I don't think I've ever done this before, but that's totally fine. Yeah, I'll take a moment. No. You, does anyone else want to see this? Yeah. It's just a revision, basically. Yeah, it's, it's just something. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't have to go. So yeah, before we sign that, we'll need a motion accepting and approving it. Almost. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, um, I move that the uh, proposed operating budget for state-aided housing of the Shrewsbury Housing Authority, Chapter 200, 667, 79 MRBP, Program 400-1 for fiscal year ending 331-24, Showing revenue of nine hundred and twenty nine thousand one hundred dollars and total expenses of nine hundred and ninety seven thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars, thereby requesting subsidy of forty eight thousand seven sixty seven further the executive director's total annual and annual salary uh, as printed on this this uh, written motion for fiscal year of three thirty one twenty four be submitted to the Department of Housing and Community Development for its review and approval. So moved. <laughs> Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I'll sign that after the meeting, unless you need more Everybody than one second. Oh, okay. We'll sign it after the meeting then. Okay. Do you sign this, Secretary? Yeah, when I send okay. it in. in, in every right. So nobody leave uh, before we do checks. That has to be signed by everyone. What am I? Okay. okay. Any other unfinished business? No. Okay. New business. I saw two line items. I see both of them in the um, packet. Do you want to take us through? One is the fish and one is the parking. Sure. So the capital improvement plan, Barry and myself met with our cap. And this is the five year plan looking up for it. So these are the projects that we want to do. After these projects are approved by the board, the state gets it and they give fish numbers so when they give a fish number that means the money is allocated towards that project fish stands for 
Yeah, she, they asked me earlier. I said federally insured super housing. Fiscal. <laughs> it's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look it up then. Yeah. Let's see if well, it can. stands for something. Yeah, that's it right. does. I like this super house. <laughs> <laughs> So for 2023, that's already has fish projects, is Lake Street Driveway, and that's in process. Site drainage at Lake Street, that's in process. Boiler replacement, that's at Elizabeth. Exterior door in buildings and community room, that's completed with a change order. So what that means is we put in a change order for the two doors out front, the laundry room door and the maintenance electrical room door. So we're waiting on that change order to come in. Um, so those projects are in process. The common hall window insulation, that's in the planning stages. Hall repairs in the planning stages. Tub surrounds in plumbing fixtures. That's in the process. And that's doing a tub or a shower at move out or if need be because of leaks. Um, the laundry room repairs, that's completed. It looks fantastic. It is fantastic. <laughs> nice job. Um, Good. Good. The tub surrounds for Parker, one of our family units, that's in process. A 6672 unit renovation turnover, that would be in process if somebody moves out of Elizabeth Street. And the toilets have been completed. So that's all for 2023. If we go to 2024, there's only one project and that one project is a deck replacement. Oh. So not that all of you guys get a deck replacement. It would be maybe one building or two, and that is coming in at $132,496. Awesome. That should be at least a couple of decks. Jesus, I would hope something. So that's one. Phase one. Okay. I don't know how many phases. This says one and two that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. So they're each about the same. One thirty two, one twenty two. Yeah. So that's two hundred and fifty thousand all in. Is it an entire building or just <laughs> one deck? Yeah, so can't there's can't be one deck. I don't know. There's Two decks that have already been done. Right, right. Oh, yeah. building three. Building three. Okay. That's one. And that happened more than six years ago. I have no idea. So seven, you see, this is coming up for the next yeah. budget. Prices have gone up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess. So in 2025, we have plenty of projects that we're looking at. We are looking at interior upgrades for Lake Street. We are looking at driveway replacement for Lake Street, Elizabeth Gardens hallway flooring, component upgrades for Ridgeland Road, a unit upgrade for Liberty, family unit, a unit upgrade for Francis Gardens, and a boiler replacement for Lake Street. For year 2026, they are giving us replacement of tub, tub surrounds um, for Elizabeth Gardens, uh, Ridgeland Road upgrade, South Street upgrade, Francis Gardens, oh no, I got ahead of myself, 2027 will be siding this whole development and exterior spigot replacements. Yep. But this is in 2027, because mm. those replacements are coming up at <laughs> some work, some don't, we get that, but so we put it into the oh, capital plan. Um, 
I need a board approval, board vote. Okay. Yeah. I make a motion we approve the capital plan as printed. <coughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Talk to me about parking. Parking. Ms. Bergeron, I love parking. Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't. You parked on the sidewalk. Okay. Yeah. Wide open space. <laughs> I didn't want to take anyone's space. There was I parked some in front of us. <laughs> exactly. So in 2016, we did a parking policy here, and we only had 95 spaces, and we all know there's 100 units. In the time that Jackie's been here meeting with tenants, she's come across tenants who no longer drive, no longer have their license, but still have their car. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking for a policy say in that if they're taking up a space for someone who does drive, asking that they would remove their vehicle mm -hmm. from the property. Are you if gonna they, are you gonna put a policy together? She's she got it here. Did. It's right here, which she drafted it for us. Oh, I can't get it. Over. That's why I flipped it over here. I have I, I've already read it. He can read it. I've read it already. It's very good. <clears throat> Things like this, I think, are fantastic. I can't take credit for this policy, Jackie, rolling up this policy. And the other thing, too, is what I'm finding is we have handicapped spots where we don't need them anymore. Um, so where someone has moved or, you know, we have a large amount over here, but only three of them are being used. The handicap spots? Yeah. Yes. Those, those are, um, regulated by, um. It, right. But what I would like to do is I, I want to eventually get a big chart and say, this who has place cards, where would you park and make sure we have enough of handicap spots for the people that have the place cards. I'm seeing a lot of people parking that don't have, with just a regular spot that have place cards. So I think we have to get the right amount of spots for the place cards, which I don't think we do. We have the legal amount of what is required. Right. I think we need, we need more. more. I think oh, is that what you're more. saying? Yes. Okay. Do we have the space for them? Yes. Well, we would be stealing them from the non-handicapped yeah, right. spots. That's all we would be doing. And are the handicapped spots assigned? Some, Some are. are. I, yes. If, Some if are. there's a legal, if there's a letter from the doctor saying they need to be closed, there is a reasonable accommodation. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I wanted to word it in there too. Um, the other thing is if someone has an issue who does not have a place card who gets their hip operated on or the knee operated on for short term we can also give them a spot closer to their building instead of them being too far away so i i tried to do three different scenarios mm -hmm. um going through that Okay. <laughs> I'm good with it. Yeah, I Go ahead. I think in general I'm good with it. I think just a couple of grammatical changes to I agree. It. I just agree. But, but, you know, but, I, it's, and, but, but the tone of it, there's no in, substantive. In terms of getting it in place, though, yep. we should vote it and then yep. we can, and then we can amend it later. Yep. I agree completely. Yeah, I had the same, I had the same comments. Yeah, so I was in favor of the spirit of the document Correct. and the content. Yep. I didn't find too calm it either, but I yep. liked what I read. I particularly liked... The, the opening points where, you know, this isn't a, uh, I'm going to be blunt, you know, a, a used auto storage facility. You know, this isn't, oh, my son got a new car, proof of a valid driver's proof of registration, proof of, I, I was very much, we're tight on space. Our residents should come first. So I yep. was very much in favor of yep. that. Yep. Yep. And I think every year to just to read an audit, we, yeah, 100%. Just to make sure you still yep. need it or you still have it. Or perhaps someone who didn't have one this year would need it next year. Yeah, that right, exactly. Record of it. That's what I want to include in everyone's annuals. Yep. So, a good idea. And I'm going to meet with everybody this year. Um, Do you have the, the annual so that's something that everybody can hand me? Perfect. Do you have the um, residents uh, sign off on this when, when you 
when you meet with them or when you when you sign a lease up with someone do they sign off on this going forward Jackie has been doing um, not policies but just here's here's the resident handbook that you have when you first moved in here please read it if you have any questions and sign off on it okay so this will be included in the resident hand handbook this policy yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, where I just did the resident handbook but, but over. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the meantime, and then this came up. In yeah. the meantime, if someone someone new comes right, along, right until up. that time, yes. you could just have them sign off on this yes. step. Supplemental. When the annuals come up, yeah. this is something that is going to be sent to everyone. Mm -hmm. And when they bring me all their paperwork for their annuals, I will have them sign that if they have a car. Yeah, I just think that that's yes. a, that's important yeah. in in terms of enforcement. We need them to understand. We need them to read it, understand it. If you have any questions, please tell us now. Yep. Okay. Okay. So maybe make a motion to approve I'll this subject to this revision. Motion. Yeah. I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve this uh, this policy um, as it's printed. Uh, subject to we don't have to even say subject to revision later. We can always revise it later. Okay. okay. So I'll make a motion that we approve this policy as printed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You have a new parking policy. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Um, anything else administrative, Ms. Bergeron? Um, so we have a neighbor that called Gary. Um, Which property? Which location? This Here? location okay. at the end of 2B. So there was our fence that was taken down, a little part of our fence that was taken down. Um, by us or by someone else or by a stove store? It could be a variety of stuff. Can you show me where Francis Ave is on that picture? So the, this neighbor called. Where's Francis, Where's Francis at? at? Yeah, yeah. Right here? No, I think it's over where her pen is. Is that the driveway down right there? Is that the driveway where it's... So where we... Is this the driveway? That's where I think it is, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Francis is right here. So... So you come up the first. It said, going to the right. It's the left. Oh, right. yeah, there's a cul-de-sac back there. Yes, yes. There's a cul -de -sac. So Holly where, Lane. Yes. where are we? You, make, you come up to the end and you make a left? It, it is Holly Lane. Okay. Holly Lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's Holly Lane off of? Summer? Yeah. Why don't you just refer to the realtors as a little bit? Is it number eight? We can let you know. <laughs> Still going to ask you about that when we're on camera. <laughs> They're waiting an hour to understand the magic of eight. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so and yeah. I have to look at it more tomorrow, but there is a group. Of, that's okay. There's a group of tenants who sit over there. Um, and he's complaining that tenants are walking into his yard and around. Um, we have a fence there. I think she started by saying we had a fence come down. That's what I was asking. No, the fence is broken, so there's no fence at, at that point. So we, our residents are walking? On our property, but they think it's their property. Oh, yes. Can I, can I see Isn't that nice? That's what I was, well, I was just yeah, no, Google I can see that. Gary. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the world of neighbors. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Gary. So, it's, so there's your Holly Lane. So I guess it's, it's right in that, that of where I just dropped it. Well, because yeah. the, 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 the just not just, just, just assume that where the fence stops is where the property is. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's not that. So this is Francis. So it must be right here. So if that's Holly Lane on my map, it's the house I just pinned hmm? right here. It's got to be that house right there. 18 Holly Lane. Oh, shh, don't say that. There is an 18. As I look at this photo, <laughs> so how could I people be walking on his property if it's all brush? I got the same message. This is the area right here. Yeah. I, and this is where he says they're walking. I didn't look today. <laughs> I'll look tomorrow. Right. So <laughs> I guess we need I'll more information. What? So 
What, what I it? am asking is that Gary purchase fence and, and wolf fence. That area. That area. I'm okay with it as long as we, uh, let me just throw in my two cents before we make any decisions here. Uh, as long as we're satisfied where the property line is and we're fencing the property line. That, my question was going to be, are we giving up anything? Any right. There we go. You just literally finished my sentence. Travis, come in and survey. Yeah. Mr. Chair, mm -hmm. when 18 Holly Lane put the um, in loft addition on their property, the property was surveyed prior to the issuance of a building permit and so forth. So he should know where his property lines are. And trust me, none of us are walking on his property. Yeah, I, that, I, was, satisfied that was that was the least I'm, I'm, concern I had in this whole thing. As I'm looking me. at the photo, I'm plenty satisfied. Yeah, with but I'm just saying that if, if we're going to we put fence, a fence up, I don't want to give away anything. Giving yes. away any of our land. Yeah. So if, if, am I correct asking the realtor? If it was surveyed not too long ago, they would be a state or something metal that would... Unless it was removed. Unless yeah. it was taken <laughs> away. Yeah, also, yeah. there was yeah, an instrument sure. survey. Let me uh, just suggest as, our, um, as a member of a subcommittee that has to do with real estate of family uh, that we obtain a copy of the survey from the 18 Holly Lane um, pack it at the, at the building inspector's office. Yep. And then we'll bring it back to the board next meeting. She can buy the fence, but not install it until we're, we're satisfied we as to yep. where the where property the line. Uh, that's property that was my only yep. reservation. Yep. So that's public until property. Until we know right? where the property is. Yeah, they'll have it up. If they did it, that's good information Ask, about that. Can I also um, yeah. make one other comment? And that is that I'd like her to ask Gary to see if he can find any stakes out there. I yes. should, yes. so. should be, but sometimes okay. people just. I know they're subject to movement. They make them but up. let's let's just see if he finds see, any. If he does, let one. let's take a photo. Mm -hmm. But um, we may find that those stakes are identified on a plan for 18 Holly Lane yes. mm -hmm. that's in the building inspector's office. Right. So yeah. Kelly, I guess we're asking you to go to the building inspector's office. No, either something. Kathy or I will. Yeah, okay. well, the, the, right. the, the subcommittee will. Oh, the real thing. Yeah. Real thing. We're, we're up there regularly, yeah, yeah, so that's exactly. easy enough. Right. Yeah. So you're gonna have Gary buy fencing. Yes. Not install. Right. And self-survey the land, meaning walk around, look for stakes, and take a couple of pictures for us. So he did leave a message with Gary, and he left a message on my phone, and he wanted, I will call him back tomorrow. Just tell him you've brought it to the board, and, and we're, we're, we're giving it its attention. That's it. Okay. That's all you have to say, nothing more than that. And Because we can't make any comments at all until we know we can okay. get the same message, yeah. or she. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So they did their addition when? Audience member, when did they do the addition? Three years ago. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Perfect. Good. Good little intel. Kelly, you're on our pair. Keep going. She sure is. So one resident asked about having yard, Quiet, please. yard sales in the community room. Quiet, please. So I remember a few years back, I did ask um, the attorney for the state who's Karen Alice. She responded back saying community rooms are supposed to be mainly for tenant use, but if they have a yard sale, then members of the community will be coming in and using the community room. This will increase our she said, Your, our liability should anyone slip and fall and also reduce the liability of other tenants using the community room or reduce the ability to Usability, other tenants. Yeah. Right. That does not mean that you should prohibit this use. Tenants may use the community room for family parties with permission from management, which clear, clearly brings other people in here. Um, Karen does not think there is a policy against the community room for having yard sales, but she wanted me to reach out to my field office and see if there's any policy there. Who is your field office? 
Kaylee from DHCD. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see if they have a problem. Make us hug with the Maybe. FBI or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Quantico. Yeah, exactly. She had television after Kelly. Yeah, exactly. I feel about this. She I've been here for 20 years. I've never heard of Recommended that board sets policy, and she always, that's her thing. Board sets policy. Board does set yeah. policy. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, she's leaving it up to the board. So am I no, you crazy? Leave it to those lawyers and what do you get? <laughs> I was going to say lawyers, but you know, I didn't want to offend anybody. Um, lawyers and realtors. No, the realtors, um, the realtors getting, <laughs> the realtors getting complimented well, here. I don't yeah. know about the lawyers. <laughs> um, am I crazy, or did we not do this once, like maybe yes, we five did. years ago or so? Yes, yeah. we did. All yeah. this is coming up. I yes, guess. we did. We did have this discussion. And I, think it might have been, I think it might have been uh, with regard to the towers, though. It was. Oh, okay. So I'm only partially crazy. All right. <laughs> Am I also only partially crazy in that we said we would allow such things? Did we do? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So. It, but so there were conditions. Yes. Conditions right. where I'll have to reach out to the insurance company to so find out what the cost is. Cost is in. My gut and we is. We also need to have a. Um, um, I, I think we should look back in right. those records and see what other conditions we talked well, about. Well, I think we time. had a policy created, if I'm not mistaken. I know we talked about it. Yeah. And I'd like so, to. I'd like to see it. Yeah, my gut is the same. My gut is. I. I, I wouldn't want to be hypocritical. What's good for one is certainly good for another. And if we were opposed to it at one location, we should, in theory, be. Or for it in one location, we should be for it in another. Okay. Um, but let's get a little bit of paperwork or at least minutes of the meeting or a policy. But in theory, if we're allowed to do it, I wouldn't see why not. I mean, that's my two cents. Yeah. However, however, we always have to be concerned with the fact that this is used and usable by all of our residents. Right. And so someone and having a yard sale the, doesn't preclude someone else coming in and using the space. That's what the attorney just said. I think she was looking at two different sides where if they had a yard sale, it just, it, and someone else had a birthday party it, on a separate day, they're fact, still bringing people in from the outside. Mm -hmm. Just like Correct. Well, you might sale. have conflict. Understood, which is why I think we had a schedule and Kelly had to approve the date and all of that. But right. point being, if, if there's a yard sale going on, someone can still come in here and sit and do a puzzle. Absolutely. That's the, that's, right. It's non-exclusive would be the best way to... It's not a private event. It's We're doing something, we're having a little yard sale, but someone's certainly welcome to come in and use the community room during that time. Because yeah, I certainly would, wouldn't want to find ourselves in a position where we're, we're excluding people from being able to yeah. use their own... Yeah, it's non-exclusive use. That would, that's what I recall the last time. And what about parking... But with that, oh, that's a good question. Complaining about parking, what's going to be the issue with that? Hey, what about that? I agree. Yeah, yeah. Well, well Kelly's working point. on a new parking policy. <laughs> but that's a good point because that policy it's before my time, so it's at least six years old. So it may need some adjustments, and parking could be one of them. Mm -hmm. Yep, good idea. Needless to say, this needs some some thought. Yeah. So um, I would suggest that we look for any of our old records to see if we can find anything on that. Okay. Um, see if anybody else. Uh, any any other authorities around us have any policy about that okay. and then we'll come back and revisit this if you don't mind I think that's fine I don't think we need a motion for that that's perfect um, did you say one other Ms. Bergeron or are you, is that it? Uh, the last one okay um, each development did get new washing machines and dryers I hope you all like them um, with that being said I've been in communication with Matt right see csw um to remove their old equipment gotcha. and that's been since october 25th with my last email to them on november 13th yesterday so i am emailing them every single day asking when they're picking up their equipment um they have stopped all communications with me they they have stopped all communication yes but the equipment's down by the garage. It's not interfering with anybody, right? Right. Okay. It was out here. Right. We moved it Perfect. down there. Um, but I guess maybe the next step would be if you don't hear from them in 30 days or something, you send them a, a legal note, maybe Richard, saying, if this equipment isn't gone in 30 days, we're disposing of it ourselves and we put it into a dumpster. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. 
us. And then we sent them a bill. And then we sent them a bill. Oh, that was exactly right. If she notifies them, away. Yeah. Exactly. Take them all over. Yeah. Would you have a contract for me so I can see? Okay. I would. That would be my preference. That we give them. We've already given them time. They've gone silent. Or my sense is, they think. Those machines have outlived their useful life, and they're just not coming they to get them. Them. Right. Yeah. So which is why we didn't want them. Right. <laughs> so I think we give them another, you know, no, the legal warning and threaten to dispose of them in thirty days, which is probably what they want us to do, anyways. So, <coughs> right. Would they qualify on the, the people who are always trying to sell? Um, Scrap metal? Yeah, they yeah. would, but that's not our business. We're not no. going to try and sell six washing machines for eight bucks. But we can donate it to someone who does want the scrap metal. Yeah, someone will take sure. it. Sure. I mean, if we can. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. I don't want to get into the whole big thing. That was good with me. That's it? We went through your entire list? Yes. Okay. Um, we are running. I'm sorry? No, I'm just scrap running. Yeah. We are running long. It's, it's 5 o'clock, but I will... Um, before I do that, I'll see if Ms. McSweeney has anything to add. Um, just for the other members of the board, we received a message from somebody about an MBTA communities meeting. Did anyone else get that? I got something about yeah. that. Okay. I'm going, so you don't have to. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the swing factor for yeah, me, yeah, just so you yeah, understand, yeah, but thank yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. And I'll update. If there is anything to update, I'll update it at our next meeting. Thank you very much. And uh, as usual, I think it was a meeting ago, I updated your... Um, your access, so you should be good there. Yes. Yeah, okay. thank you. You mentioned that with me. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> look at her little pat on the back, a little recognition. Exactly. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, all right, before we are long, but if, if there's any, if we have time for one or two quick questions, I'll be glad to do that. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, I'm wondering if the gutters are a annual uh, thing that is done by maintenance. I don't think that's fit. Are you mean cleaning them out? Yes. Oh, well, that's a Kelly question. I don't know. We clean I, the gutters. We clean the gutters if the guys have... As needed, time. bandwidth. So, yes, we clean them, but not annually. Kelly will make a note that when there's slack in the schedule um, to try and get that on the list. One more, please. Sure. The leaves in the back parking lot. They will be working on those tomorrow. Oh. Yep, they're, they're we wanted to be able to tell you that in person, so we waited. <laughs> yes, we are uh, stopping from working inside apartments tomorrow because it's going to be nice, so they're going something. around picking up the leaves. Yes, ma'am. Um, the handy, there are two spots that are used by two people in this room that the handicap signs have been removed. My and two was okay. Three. And the. Um, the, when I asked about it, I was told that I was asked if anyone else was parking in them, and I said, no, not at this time. What if people move in and move out? Who knows? And the answer I got was, hmm, that's what it is. So we we all right, so we talked tonight about creating a new parking policy. This was brought up about 20 minutes ago. We realized it's an issue. Yeah, the policy isn't the problem. The problem is... There are at least three handicapped parking spaces for people with placards yeah. that have no signage on them yeah. designating them as handicapped. Did someone take the signs? Yes. 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 Maintenance yes. took them down. It was probably during. Because they were told to. But I don't know why. But then I want to say people up. that don't live here, their so and so's brother lives here, but the sister parks and that's why. Because so it is a policy. So, yeah. so, yeah. so we're g we're we we're definitely going to address it. We talked about it tonight, and it's top of mind for us. So yeah. Kelly is so, taking yeah. this. the sign. It should be part of that because it's a tiered approach. People who have assigned spots, and people who well, it would be a handicap. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. On the okay. ground. Yep. Um, but you need a sign for the winter. Policies or handbooks or whatever. Could we put a publication date on them so that? We know that this is the newest Sure. Yeah, you know, Good idea. Yeah. Absolutely. No, we want well. you to be dealing with antique books. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that remark. They, they, had, they had signed spots with the tenant's parking number on it, okay? But evidently, they took them off the building. Like, I had one with 119, 121. They're gone. Ever since they took the lights down, Nothing's been there. No, they took down the post. They took right. post. Well, they took the signs. Post in front of myself. Okay. Right. 
That was taken down. But everybody that had the sticker had their assigned number. The sticker they had on the car was on that spot. Now they're not there anymore. And I think that's the problem here. It is the problem. Okay. We right. will look into it. We're going to try to do it over to make sure. And that's why I think we have a lot of people with. Well, they said they were going to. They said they were going to paint them on a on a berm there, yeah. which never got done. And That's I've been mentioned the that they brought it to me, out. my attention, more than once. But now, there's nothing there. Okay. All right. We're, 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 this isn't going to... I appreciate the concern. We're definitely going to look into it. Okay. In terms of the board, um, the second Tuesday of December is the 14th, I think, or the 12th? The 12th. Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. Was it December? 12th. 4 o'clock. At Towers. Towers, right? Yep. Yeah. Waiting on Miss McSweeney, I think. Tuesday the 12th. Yep. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. That's good. I will take a motion to adjourn. Second. Uh -huh. So moved. Moved. I vote. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank Mark. You.